Hello everyone, we hope you're well. This is getting a bit regular, isn't it? <laughs> Today, we're gonna to show you this. Now it's just turned up. Um, this is the, I've got to get the name right, mate. I know what it is. It's a Hypersentia 24 litre air fryer oven. Now, Hypersentia have gladly sent us this and we're, we're thankful for them. It gives us a chance to have a look at it now, it promises to be very useful, but we will find out it does look good. Anyway, this is just how it comes. This is the box. So what I'll do, I'm showing you the wrong side, actually. Mm. The picture's on my side. There we go. That's how it comes box. Now, there's a box in a box. I'll get that out and I'll bring you back. Right. Here's the box that's in the box. Now this thing is really well packed. Um, it's actually come encased in this polystyrene. As you can see, I know that's not you know above average, but what I'm saying is it's fairly well protected, which is something to worry about. Um, so that part of it, as you can tell by now, that's not in the box, is it, mate? <laughs> now, what I wanted to show you, and this is obviously what it looks like. Now, on this side, <clears throat> it shows you various things French fries, pizza, uh, it's got a barbecue, not sure how that works, broil, which is obviously grill. Oh, it says grill there. It's got a rotisserie in it. Uh, it dehydrates. It's got steak set in, bake, and toast. Mate, you weren't going to do toast in this, would you? Unless you haven't got a toaster, of course. Um, as you see there, it's 1800 watt. Obviously, the voltage it's made for us, so that's our voltage. 24 litre, and there's the dimensions. So it's 414 millimetres by 375 millimetres by 375 millimetres. Uh, and the temperature range is from 60 to 230 degrees C. And it's stainless steel. Now, <laughs> we've got some lovely air fryers and the air fryers have been brilliant. But this promises to be quite good. But we'll find out as I say. Tip it. And there's a picture really of oh is it out of view? It, it could yeah. be. Right now there's just a picture of an overall picture with the fan in the top and the motor and what have you. Now what we'll do we'll get the oven and I'll bring you back. Right now first of all I'll just run you through the items that you get with the oven. Um your little mitt for getting things in and out of the oven. Um, you've got the rotisserie bar which fits inside, you have to get it the right way around and then you've got the two clips, I've not had these out yet and they slide on there to stick in your chicken, I'm sure people know what they are and this is the lifter for lifting it out when it's finished so you do get all that with it, that's fair enough now, in this oven, I don't know how normal this is, but they seem to have gone away from the pressed basket. This is more like your standard oven rack, as you see there. Now, I honestly think this is probably a good idea, but we'll see how we get on with that. And also now, this is the like the French fry basket or whatever you, you do in your chip basket. Um, that looks pretty useful. Hang on, Wendy's trying to attract my attention. <laughs> right, we're back on now. Mate, Wendy can't wait, can she? She's just waited. I'd have had, <laughs> I'd have had that bit done. Right, now, we've mentioned this rack, and that, I quite like that. It's very open. I think that'll be actually better. Anyway, and this, is your standard like you would get in a in a normal oven, isn't it? Where you just 
it's your, it's your main tray. But also on this, which I haven't actually got out, if I undo this, there is actually the crumb tray in the bottom. Now you keep that in, right in the bottom. And that's just to uh, collect any crumbs. Now obviously these will fit a number of positions, like you can go there, or there, or even there. But this is, um, oh no sorry, there's only, there's three positions. There's that position at the bottom, as low as you can get. That is the second position. I think that'll be the most popular. And then you've got this one as well there, that's the ice position. Right. As I say, this has only just arrived, so it's a little new to us. You can see what that oven's like inside. Now you've got two elements at the bottom and four elements exactly the same in the top. And also the fan is like inside uh, a cover. So I will, I will show you that in a minute. But just to go through it, let me read some specifications. Now you get with it, That, that's for Amazon shopping and it's hypercentia.com. They've got their own website and, and I've had a look actually and there's some good people on there cooking. It seems quite a good thing. And there's your one year guarantee and you can actually get an extended guarantee for another year. And then you get the book that's got all the details in. And of course, after all your checks, now, I don't want to tell you wrong here, but I'm sure what we did, we cleaned everything with soapy water, got it nice and dry, and then we ran it for 20 minutes on 200. I'm sure that's what it says, but it is written in the book, so best to check in the book, because if anything is changes or whatever, just go by the book. But you do give it a first run. Now, in the book as well, it's got all the... Uh, what the symbols mean because I found them they're a little strange if you're not used to them I'm sure once you've owned the cooker it'll all seem straightforward now this is only just turned up and we've switched it on and we've done the initial run uh, and we cooked a quick meal in there and to be honest yeah it was simple to use it, it seems straight straightforward it's, there's nothing complicated with it being 24 litres as you can see, it's not gigantic by any means, but if you've got a small air fryer, it's quite a bit bigger. It's not like your oven, is it? It's not the size of that, but it is. It, actually, the size is here. 32.6 by 29.8 centimetres. Well, there's 33 in there in a foot, so it's slightly less than a foot, but I'm sure a 12 inch pizza will go in, but we'll be trying that anyway. Right, I put a tape rule across that and I thought it was 12 inches. We'll measure that again. Um, you can also buy other parts to go with it. Uh, there is a, a barbecue rack, well they call it a kebab rack, where it rotates the uh, skewers. Uh, and there is a tray as well where you, it's, what's that actually called? What do they call it? Oh, they call it uh, fries and chicken nuggets. It's a rolling grill basket. I mean, they've got their own names. That's fair enough. But you know what I mean? And they are pretty good for nuggets and things like that. There's also uh, a pizza baking tray there. And you can buy the uh, tongs. But, I mean, you can get those anywhere, I suppose. Um, what else is it to mention? It's got the dimensions in here as well combination but as with all these things we have found that if you put too much in it it doesn't cook so well now the book is quite good at explaining that and there is actually a cookery book now we've been looking through this quickly and Wendy's had a look as well and there is some quite decent menus in here and a lot of it it looks like it's very realistic and real <laughs> oh, I don't know how to put that 
it seems to me, just, just with the little knowledge that we've actually got about air fryers, this book seems pretty good. There's some good things in here. Wendy's picked a few out already. And from our experience, we can see that they're going to be okay. So I think people will find this book pretty useful. I mean, we can't say everything is perfect, but that does look pretty good. It's, it is. It's, it's well written as well. It's pretty good. Right. I suppose we better show you with it switched on. I'll bring you back. Right. We're going to get this straight look. <laughs> when dispatched a pizza. Now I know it's only a cheap pizza, but it's to try it really. Now let's get my tape rule out. I mean, I've got tape rules in drawers all over this house. Don't get excited, that's not my toolbox. I bet I've got about <laughs> six or seven. I'm terrible, but I always forget where they are. It's like pairs of glasses, mate. I need them everywhere. Anyway, come on, don't start mucking about. Now, I've let you down here because we got what we thought was the standard pizza. And it turns out mm. that's 10 inches. <laughs> oh. we, we thought they were 12 inches of pizzas, but they're not the 10 inch. But as you can see, look, a 10 inch pizza mm. fits in there dead easy. And of course, what I should do is show you on the actual tray. Now, bear in mind, it is still in the box. Look. Look at that, there's plenty of room on there. So you can fit a 10 inch pizza in there, no problem. Right. <laughs> That's cleared that up. It's maybe not quite 12 inch, but you can get a 10 inch pizza in. Now what we'll do now, as you can see there, I've got some power on. What we do, it's off at the moment. Now, when you press that button, it switches it on. And as you see, it comes up with all these. Now, it's on toast at the minute. You've got, I should be reading this in case I get it wrong. Look. Toast. That one is bake. And it gives you the setting to go with it. Right? So then you go to fish. And that's set on 230 for 25 minutes. That's That's... I don't know as I agree with that, but that's what the setting is. Now that, I didn't understand that. I thought it looks like a carrot. Oh, hang on, I've gone wrong. It's at 70 degrees for four hours, and I thought it was a carrot. And it's not. It's, de it's to dehydrate food, which we're going to have a go at. Um, it's just the size. It's just a case of getting used to it. Now that looks like a chicken leg, and it's set at 230 degrees for 20 minutes. Then... The next one is fries, and that's 190, 20 minutes. Now I'd say you're not far off there, are you? That's pretty good. And now this one, it looks like a snowflake there, and that is for uh, defrosting. That's set on for 30 minutes at 60 degrees. Now this one, now that's steak, I'm sure. That's steak, and that is 12 minutes at 230. Then we've got pizza, seven minutes at 2.30. Now we'll have to try that. Now probably me, I would have done that not quite so hot and a little longer, but it could be right. It's the rotisserie. It looks like a, a chicken with something sh shoved inside it. <laughs> That's the rotisserie setting. So I imagine on the rotisserie setting, obviously the rotisserie goes round. Now, that's gone back onto toast now. But if you notice here, you've got two fan speeds. And if you go on bake, which is that one, I think you can change the fan look. You see it's on a small fan there, which is a slower setting. If you press that, it speeds the fan up. All right, let's show you that. Let's just turn it on. You press that one, the play sign look. That's the favorite. And what we do, listen to the fan. Now, you, I hope you can hear that. It went up and down. I hope you can hear that. Right, let's just turn it off a second. I think you have to hold the button for a few seconds, look, and it goes off. 
and it's that simple but the other thing is when it's actually on let's turn it back on and you alter this you can actually go on to any setting you like say um well for a start let, let's go which one shall we go on? let's put let's go on the toast because that's the first setting if you press this button it changes the time it's a little clock look and that should see how it's flashing you can then change that to anything you like and then if you press the temperature which is there you can change that to anything you like up to a maximum of 230 degrees and it will go down to 60 look so there's a good range on here now that so you can use the presets but once you get used to it if you like us you just do mm -hmm. what you like anyway the other thing that is the internal light as you can see they can turn that off and what we noticed when you count down the last minute the light comes on and also it comes on if you open the door and that's quite a good light in there that's quite good right let's turn that off right I think that's that part concluded for now I'll bring you back hello everyone now we'll <laughs> let's put this in this new oven and give it a go now these are puff pastry full uh, filled with mincemeat and it's a very simple operation that's why we keep having another go at it it's costing an arm and like this mate <laughs> rubbish now <laughs> i said to wendy what are you doing with a box look i'll show you we're using puff pastry ready bought look because it's so much more convenient but i've had to buy another one look she's gone all mardy with a box look at that hey eh? this is what you get <laughs> right we're all right now we, we've got the cutters sorted out you need a four inch cutter and a three inch cutter now our four inch cutter that she's waving around in the air nobody can see oh god look we're using our cup now that's about a four inch cutter and we have actually got a three inch cutter that you can see till she starts waving it about right now what you gotta do is cut the top and bottoms out of this and you need the four inch cutter for this which is this one <laughs> so she's going to cut them now now we want right. 12 because we want Can half I a dozen some of the, things now, eh? the reason for the rolling mm. pin it's got the do three mil guide to clout you one <laughs> and, and what you want to do is you need a three mil guide because you want three mm. mil thickness on the pastry so that's what we've got now luckily it comes about three mil thick so if you don't do that, you're going to be fine. It comes out thickness. Right, Wendy's going to cut these out now, I hope. I hope. Oops. That's not cut through. Oh, Taz. I don't think it had cut through. Very yeah. good. Right, now we're going to see how many of these mm. we can get. Yeah. Um, I'll bring you back. Mm. Right, I've just brought you back because as you can see there, Wendy's got eight out of that strip. Now I keep telling her, look, you use the uh, pastry cutter to lift them and that's what she keeps doing. But I wanted to show you that because it makes it so much easier. Just look, we're, we've not had this luxury before. This was a nice present that we got from Pauline. It's fantastic, it really is. I didn't realise how good they were. Anyway, what we're going to do now, Wendy's got eight there. So she's going to re-roll it and see how many we can get out of that. And I'll bring you back. There we go. Wendy's just laid six out. Look, there we go. Right, what we're doing here, we just want two tablespoons on each one. Two level tablespoons is just about the right amount. I know you can't see this very well, it's awkward, isn't it? But well, you'll see it when it's on. And this is the third one. Right, so there's two tablespoons gone in the centre there. Look at that, it looks lovely already. Right, we'll carry on with this. And I'll bring you back. Ah, sorry, oh. while Wendy's doing that, I've just remembered I was <laughs> going to show you. 
we had some pastry left. Wendy don't like wasting pastry, but uh, <laughs> mate, it's just a, that's virtually a marble, isn't it? You couldn't make much with that. But I thought I'd show you that. So this is one pack of the uh, puff pastry, the ready bought. So I think that's worked out pretty well. They've got to be three mil thick though, so you only just manage it. Right, now it's just a case of uh, rushing water around the edge. You got you need a bit on there just to make it seal. Right, so that's the next step. And we'll bring you back. Right, what we do now is just seal it. So we're going to push that on, push it down fairly firm. Well, obviously not too firm. Push it down firm and then just crimp the edges together. Just to try and seal it as you do with a pie. Ooh. Right, Wendy's done, uh, you've done that one, haven't you? Yeah, not yet. All right. Right, let's just show you what that looks like. There you go. Let's give you a better view. You see that? This is what we want, just so it's sealed. Right, Wendy will do the others. Yeah, then all we do, put three knife cuts along there. Three, it's got to be three, because we like three. Oh. It's as simple as that. Right, let's get on with the rest. Right, there you can just see, Wendy's done that. As you can see, she's sealed it on that ring and then crimped the outside look. Hey, they look all right already, these do. Now it's a case of just uh, wetting the top and sprinkling with some uh, normal sugar. Normal sugar, what a name. <laughs> Granulated sugar. Right, as you see there, Wendy's just getting them nice and wet on the top. Don't, no need to drench them, just so the sugar sticks a little bit. We think they look pretty good. Let's hope they turn out all right. Mm. That's the main thing. Now it's just a case of sprinkling a bit of sugar on. Mm. There we go. Right, then it's a case of letting them settle for a few minutes while Graham warms the cooker up. Right, all we're going to do now is uh, get the oven on and just as a check really, I'm going to put the meter on it and I've set it to 30 pence as you can see, which is our rate. Right. You put in what you like, but this will give you a rough idea. Right, I get that plugged in, and what we're going to do, switch this machine on. There we go. And what we're going to do, we're going to go across to bait, which is the next one. That says 40 on there, and it'll do at 140. So, what we'll do, I'll just bring the time down. That's gone on temperature ground. Time is the one that looks like a clock. You fool. I told you, you've got to get used to it, haven't you? It's obvious. We want to bring this down. Now, I think this will be warmed up in five minutes. I honestly do. So what we'll do, now that's going to be five minutes warming up time. Then just press the play button and we're on. There we go. Right, I'll bring you back. Right, we're in the last little bit now, so uh, as I say, this is a warm up period. And we'll see what it sounds like when it's finished. Oh, I've already missed it. <laughs> it's finished. Right, what we'll do now, we'll get these in the oven because that's going to be lovely and warm. And it is. You're going on the bottom one day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we're putting them on the bottom. I think I put them on another one before. As I say, this is not the first attempt, unfortunately. Now, what we want to do, I think we've actually got to turn this off. We will do. Maybe not actually, but let's see. Right, so what we said before, we're going on to the cake setting, and that time there, we want 
20 minutes, I think. I don't think they'll take any longer than that. In fact, I'm going to go for 20, but I think it might end up being about 15. So we're happy at that, at 140. There it stopped, you see. Then we press play. Now, what I was saying to you, that's not running at the minute. When you press that, that's running and the fan's on low speed. So, because what I'm saying, when it's finished, it will run on for a little time. But, uh, well, that's it now. We'll bring you back in a little while. Just so you can see what they're actually like. We've got the light there. Look at that. Brilliant. Right, we'll bring you back. Now, as you see there, they cut really well. We'd like them to have a bit more colour. So, what I'm saying is, can we adjust? Can we adjust it up as we go along? Yes, we can. But, on this setting, bake setting, you can only go to 140 degrees. Now, I want a bit of colour on them now. So, we're going to have to stop that. Let's stop it. Let's press that. There we go, now it's gone off. I know the fan's still running, that's just to cool down. Now, because I want to turn it up more than 140, let's put it back on. If I go on toast, I can have another five minutes, look. But if I change the temperature, because I think that's too high, I think, put that, 180 for five minutes and I should keep my eye on this because we want it to start looking a little more brown. Let's put the light on so you can see. There you go. Now let's see what the difference in colour is. Right now that's a, just a closer shot really though. Just showing you what they look like. Now I can see already they are starting to change colour a little so I think this could be the answer. We don't want to pure white, do we? Right, I'll bring you back. Right, now I've just brought you back because I believe we're in the last minute. So we're almost done. And look at the colour. I think just turning them up to 180 for five minutes there has just made all the difference. The light's gone out by it. Come on, it only stays on for a minute. They must be nearly there now. They're looking great, they are, and they smell good as well, yeah. Now what we'll do... They're almost finished and we'll get them out, right. No, we may as well hang on now. Oh, we've ended it now. I didn't even realise. I'm still looking in the window, mate. And it's finished. Got me to... What a dope. Let me move out of the way because... Right, when you can get these out now. Oh, they smell nice. They look nice. Let's just show you. Look at that. Oh, look. Yeah, they look great. Right. Now, unfortunately, we've got to let these cool down. Oh, no. But these are good if you've if you've run out of mince pies and you want something quick, then you can make them over the holiday period. Yeah, it just make For a Christmas. change. I think I've probably had enough mince pies for the time being. They're a bit, bit different, <laughs> aren't they? These are great for Christmas. Mm. Right. I'll bring you back. Well, I've brought you back now because we know they're going to be gorgeous. This is not the first attempt. And they're very nice. <clears throat> what I wanted to bring you back for is bit, mate. I plugged it in. <laughs> I didn't show you. Now the time, it says 36 minutes. Oh, I forgot to unplug it, didn't I? So that's not quite right. But that has cost just over 16 pence. Just over 16 pence. And that's with me. Look, we, if you see there, we've used just over half a kilowatt, which adds up because we're 30 pence. So look, and the highest is 1953. So that's not bad then, that's not bad at all, look. And I, as I say, I set it at 30p, 
we've used 16 pens so I think that's gone fairly well anyway if you've enjoyed this please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye